I literally just got fake Christian Louboutin shoes from Neiman Marcus and Bergdorf Goodman. And that is a big issue. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, guys. It means so much. Thanks. How's it going, guys? My name is Mega Miles, and welcome to like a, uh, a way off topic video for our channel. But this is like something entirely unexpected. Uh, so I wanted to share it with all concerned parties. Um, so I recently got into shoes like within the past couple of years, uh, not to tell you about my life story so I started buying some when I could afford some and uh, one pair that I was really excited about getting was a pair of Christian Louboutins so I finally pulled the trigger and I know that there's like a ton of fakes out there so I didn't buy from eBay I didn't buy from you know whatever third-party vendor or whatever I went straight you know to Bergdorf uh, Nima Marcus for that exact reason that there's fake shoes out there so it took me a while to find one that I, I really liked because they aren't cheap and I was like so excited I had you know like my camera out I was I didn't do an unboxing video I, I might have but uh, I was just like doing it for my own personal like here we go kind of thing and uh, I'll, sh I'll put that video in here So I unboxed it, they're right here, right? And uh, by the way, these are the shoes that I ordered. And guys, these are the shoes that I received in the mail. Let me get those laces out the way. So obviously, way different, wrong pair. But I initially, like, like initially, I was like, what the fuck, it's on video. <laughs> I'm like, these are not what I ordered. Uh, but I got kind of like excited because these were actually more expensive. So I was like, heck yeah. You know, like everyone's initial thoughts would be. Um, I don't particularly like these at all. Uh, not that they're not cool looking, but um, I started getting like a little uh, suspicious and I started researching. I actually reached out to Christian Louboutin about a few details. So I'm gonna like film my concerns close up so you guys can see. Essentially, the point of this video, as the title says, is I'm like 90% sure that Bergdorf slash Nima Marcus sent me a fake pair of Christian Louboutins, which is freaking insane and very, very, very shady. So, uh, Luckily, I reordered the actual pair that I was intending to get, and I, I got it from an actual store with a salesman. Uh, these particular pair came from their back stock. I looked at their in, the actual slip that was in the box, and it came from their warehouse, essentially. So, I don't know how it works. I'll show you why I think these are fake, and yeah, I'm gonna actually, the, the new one, or the ones I ordered, come in tomorrow so I'm gonna compare a few different things in contrast with that so maybe to reaffirm my point that these are fake so uh, let's get a close-up and yeah okay guys just so you can see that these are from Bergdorf for sure uh, yeah so close that because it has my address on it um, my first clue that these are not legit is the fact that you can see uh, the like toe box and um, midsole material through the actual sole like some shoes are transparent but with a brand like this it's very very consistent like if they put a transparent sole it's all gonna be one color and I actually reached out to Christian Louboutin and sent them a photo of that and they were like yeah that's not normal that's not that's not yeah so second thing and this is a very, very tiny detail. You see that one, like, miscolored Swarovski? Or if it even is. 
Let me zoom in here. It's red. Okay? Once again, a brand like this, high quality standards, they're not going to do that, right? So third, and believe me, it gets more, uh, less speculative. So, uh, I don't know if you can really see that. I don't have the, the new ones next side by side, but apparently the cutout on a fake ones in contrast with real ones is day and night different. Um, and then the soles, they've got kind of like a, uh, you see how it's kind of almost dirty looking? Like it's not, at least what I've researched. But we're gonna have the new ones, the authentic ones tomorrow. So we'll be able to compare this. All right, so the thing that really sold me I'm gonna set down the camera, I'll cut to it, uh, is the insole. Actually, I can show you one thing. So like, on the box, it's a 43, okay? Now, if we look under the tongue, it is lightly, lightly, lightly stamped a 45. And I also asked Christian Louboutin directly about that, and they said, no, it's supposed to be the same size on the tongue, and uh, from my research, it's supposed to be a gold stamp, we'll compare that tomorrow, but um, the, the thing that really sold me is what I'm going to show you now. Okay guys, so I actually, I think that the, uh, the insoles themselves are real, um, because they've got that gold print that's very, very defined, which implies it might be like someone that works there that's doing this, so, but what sold me let me see if I can get some light in here. I don't have a light on uh, this camcorder. All right guys, this is what really convinced me is underneath the insole is this thing called a talon board. Uh, I actually, I'll, I'll, I'll link you in the description, but I found photos of this insole underneath it with the same material on a, a fake website where they sell fake Louboutins and they say they're fake. So, uh, I don't know how the hell this happened, and once again, we're going to compare it when the real ones come in tomorrow, the correct style that I ordered to begin with. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, generally it's going to be like a solid leather underneath. Alright guys, so those were like the, uh, the things about that shoe that made me really like question its legitness. Um, so those are getting picked up tomorrow the the real ones i hope god uh arrive tomorrow as well so i'm gonna record um like especially underneath the insole uh the tongue the size marking on the tongue um i can't really since it's not the same style i can't really compare like the Sovarskis uh or stuff like that um but yeah like i think it's a real box i literally think someone maybe within their company is swapping out like the styles with fakes and then maybe reselling the real ones online or to friends or something like that it's really like frustrating because that's the whole reason why i order from the most prestigious in the states uh fashion store so it's like can you really trust unless you go there and pull out the insole yourself because like part of me i'm a very honest person and it like it bothers me that I can almost guarantee like if I like when I send it back they're gonna think that maybe I swapped out the shoe which obviously isn't the case uh, because I mean like I ordered these Giuseppe Zanatti's um, from them as well so and these are real you can there's there's no doubt you know you can feel the quality uh, I actually pulled up the insole on this one and it's you know the solid color insole yeah it's nuts I just had to make a video I was like holy crap I gotta post about this because it's not like I bought a pair off of eBay and they were fake because that's the risk you take when you do that kind of stuff I bought them from Nima Marcus 
Bergdorf. Well, it's from Bergdorf, but they're the same company if you didn't know. So, Bergdorf. I bought them from Bergdorf. The new pair is coming from Nima Marcus because when I called Bergdorf, they're like, yeah, one of our Nima Marcus stores shows that they have it. So, I got on the phone with that guy. Um, it's just nuts. I'm like, ah, what the hell? So, I wanted to make a video about those. I would have done a side by side, but like I said, those are getting picked up tomorrow and the other ones are arriving tomorrow. So, I can't really do that. Um, We'll see what comes in tomorrow, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to like give you guys a 411, maybe, or like, worst case, uh, I'm gonna send this to Bergdorf, and uh, hopefully they can find, if it's someone within their warehouse, or their back stock store, uh, hopefully they can find who is doing this, because this is not acceptable at all. Um, yeah, especially from a store that prestigious. So I'm just like, what the fuck? All right, guys, I literally just got the the pair I originally ordered in. And like, undeniably, the ones that I initially received are 500% fake, which is, it's like blowing my mind because they came from Bergdorf Goodman. So. Yeah, I want to go over like, so these are the ones that I actually ordered um, and you might hate them, you might love them, but they're real. <laughs> uh, thank God. So it's just nuts because the stuff that I noticed, it's like, okay, so like I'll go through. Um, so one is on the inside of the tongue, like the, uh, the stamp. It's a, uh, it's done in like a, like a gold, really fine print. Um, and the insole itself, it's actually more golden than the other one. Um, if that makes any sense, I'm going to try to pull this up since these are real and I'm convinced that these are real and being like extra cautious. Yeah. And underneath it, it is the solid leather underneath the insole itself and um, the actual insole doesn't have any numbers underneath it uh, like showing the actual size that's freaking insane like now like that I'm 500% convinced entirely that the ones I initially received are fake yeah, like I'm kind of really pissed off because that's just unacceptable and what what was more upsetting too is that on the phone like the the lady I spoke with was really nice but it was almost like when I told her I think that the ones I got are fake it was it was like kind of it, it was like dismissed almost like they they didn't believe me um, but yeah, they're freaking fake and they came from a legit, believe me, I'm emailing Christian Louboutin to this video. I'm linking them so they can know as well as Nima Marcus and, uh, Bergdorf, which is the same company to go over what I've noticed between the two shoes is, uh, provided they're different styles, but looking at the stitching on this one, the quality there's no stray stitches standing out. One, not a single one. Everything's perfect. Whereas on the fake, uh, I'll probably edit in some some pictures, but there was like around the Christian Louboutin logo on the side right here. The stitching was really inconsistent. It was frayed out. Even the actual logo here almost seems to be in like a slender, font a thinner font on the sole um remember how i said it was like hazy it's not hazy on this the actual feel of the sole feels entirely different it's almost like this has like more um grip uh like it's almost like it feels uh like more velvety if that makes any sense on the uh the lettering right here it's definitely, definitely more legible. Um, you can, 
you can definitely tell the difference side by side. It's really nuts because I was doubtful. So one of the key things that I noticed from another video um, that mine had, so on the fakes, the soul, it had some like blotches on the white and the little crease. I took photos of it, so I'll edit that in. This doesn't have a single one, not one. So, um, yeah, and it also says made in Italy instead of made in the EU. So, I don't, I don't know if, if, if that matters, if that's a, a telltale sign. So yeah, guys, moral of the story, I literally just got fake Christian Louboutin shoes from Neiman Marcus and Bergdorf Goodman. And that is a big issue. That is insane. I have no idea if it's someone within the company doing it, but it happened. So I wanted to make this video first and foremost for you guys that are thinking the same thing. Like, hey, if I order from Nima Marcus, I'm set, they're an authorized dealer. Uh, I'm not ordering from eBay or something like that. You still need a, apparently to check the shit because otherwise you might be wearing some fake stuff that you think is real. And that's insane. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm like so dumbfounded. Like I can't believe that this happened. So hopefully this gives you guys a heads up to like, you're going to run into your closet. You're like, I bought six pair online from Nima Marcus. Pull out that insole. I think that's the quickest way to tell and see if it's like a solid color underneath. Um, I'm sure there's some fakes out there that don't have that talons board or whatever that is. So, I mean, that's probably not a foolproof method, but it's a start. So, I, I, I fucking love these. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like still like jocking the shoes. I just uh, like unboxed them and made this video. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just can't believe it. Like, so yeah, I really, uh, I really hope like the, they haven't picked up the shoes yet, but once they get shit back, I hope that like, they don't try to say that I took those shoes and put those in there or some BS like that. I got fake shoes from Bergdorf Goodman shipped to me that weren't even the shoes that I wanted. I wanted these and this was the last pair in my size in the company. So like these were meant for me, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just, I can't believe it. So hopefully this gives you guys like some insight, I guess into the fact that like you can't really trust even authorized dealers anymore. Um, when I messaged Christian Louboutin, they were like, uh, we highly recommend that you purchase directly through us to avoid any anything, any issue. So I was like, yeah, well, maybe I should have. But um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it uh, opened your eyes to something. Uh, comment and uh, leave that like let me know your thoughts because this is freaking crazy or maybe has it happened to you hopefully not because it's not a good thing to have happen it's really frustrating um so yeah i'm gonna go try these on <laughs> so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one